many of us in school in South San Francisco are the first generation born in the United States, and we want to make our families proud. One of the best parts of the Helix Cup so far is that the challenges gave us all a chance to show what we're capable of. Whether the kind of student who always raises their hand or those who are nervous about getting called on. In the Helix Cup, everyone has a shot at winning. My dad owns a store called Carneseria Tepa. It's a meat store. And the, everybody knows me by, by that store. So since I was the one that got the team together, they all wanted it to be after me. So Tepa Mom. Tepa Mom. Ah, nice. I do boxing. That's one of my favorite sports. My name is Gage. I'm 13. My name is Gunner. I want to be a doctor because, um, I don't know, I just like, I like a little blood sometimes. I don't know, it's just weird, but um, I like being a doctor. I don't know, it seems fun. For the third Helix Cup challenge, we had to figure out how to build centrifuges out of salad spinners. The powerful force of the centrifuge allows scientists to do important research and doctors to diagnose patients. In order to complete the challenge, we had to understand how centrifugal force, gravity, and density all affected our materials. To win this challenge, teams had to keep their test tubes close to the fixed angle of 60 to 70 degrees, demonstrate the greatest glitter separation, and also be the fastest at loading and unloading their centrifuges. The challenges that we're doing, um, because they're hands-on, definitely engages all of the students. Everyone has a chance to feel successful and contribute to the group. Everyone I'm seeing is it's falling in. Yours is actually falling out. <laughs> but the string. The string. You want to cut the string off? Well, what's making it go up this way? We would have an idea and we would make it, and then we would test it, and we'd be like, "This is bad." We really never had a game plan for any of them. Just basically just spread all the things out on the table and just see, "Oh, look, we can. What can we do with that? And what can we do with that?" Okay, so you want it just kind of facing toward the center. Just two girls and two guys, and I liked working with them because. We all shared out ideas, so we worked together. It was very interesting how you can make a centrifuge out of just a salad spinner. I worked with my team down to the wire. I really wanted to make the finals. As I looked around the room, I knew the competition was going to be fierce. In situations like that, I would consider myself a leader. What was the most intense part? I'm going to say the last challenge, because that was the one going to Genentech. I kind of felt the pressure, but it was just for fun, and I had a good time building it. It was really fun. Despite our best efforts, my team got knocked out at the end of this round. But as I mentioned at the beginning, this story's not just about the winners. Students were high-fiving each other and their teachers about science, which is pretty awesome when you think about it. The remaining teams were excited at the opportunity to advance to the finals on the Genentech campus and win the whole thing. I was excited to have the opportunity to go cheer them on. Stay tuned for the Helix Cup Final 